I can't believe some, like people would actually come to not only like a Jewish cemetery but any type of cemetery and just smash great, like headstones. Like. Mitchell Pizarz was just one of many community members who voiced their concerns as they landscaped, cataloged, and prayed amongst the fallen tombstones at Mount Carmel Cemetery in Wissanomi. Naomi Adler, CEO of the Jewish Federation of Philadelphia, told us that although the vandalism was motivated by hate, they may not be anti-Semitic. We can't say it's anti-Semitic because we haven't heard directly, there's no graffiti. We actually have to be very careful before we label something. So what we've done is said, it's despicable. It's an act of hate. And although the perpetrator is still out there, volunteers we spoke with said whoever did this did not act alone. You can't push over, so many stones weigh a ton of piece. You can't, one man is not gonna push that stone over. Over 100 stones have been overturned at the Mount Carmel Cemetery and it will take weeks to repair all of the damage. But community members tell us that this isn't the first time vandals have desecrated their community. We don't have lights in these areas. We don't have proper security. We have a lot of things that are lacking. And that cemetery, that cemetery, across the street, the other cemeteries have all been hit. As Philadelphia police and the FBI continue their investigation, unrest amongst community members still remains. A $35,000 reward is being offered to anyone who has any information about those who vandalized the Mount Carmel Cemetery. Volunteers tell me they're going to continue the restoration process throughout the week. Reporting for Temple Update, I'm Asad Bakari.